a hundred years from now, what do you think the world looking back will say was the best and the worst thing that was decided in this time, that we did in this time? I can't think of any good decisions, but plenty of bad ones, like nuclear weapons and global warming. So, to the people who say that science and religion are irreconcilable, you say? One could define God as the embodiment of the laws of nature. However, this is not what most people would think of as God. They mean a human-like being with whom one can have a personal relationship. There are two things that are really outstanding about my father, and the first is his life in science and his work as a scientist. And the second is his humanity and his courage, because he suffered so greatly through his disease and his condition. He's just kept on day after day working, um, making great discoveries in science, communicating his discoveries to a popular audience and maintaining his sense of humour. And sometimes I think he's become such a familiar, iconic figure that people have almost forgotten how much he suffered, how hard it is for him to do what he does. And so that, I suppose, it's that quality of c compassion and humanity coupled with his humour and his intellect. Those are the really outstanding features of him. He, my father's an extraordinary character. Um, he's very strong-willed, he's very determined, um, and at the same time he's very humorous. One thing that he used to have on his speech machine was this phrase where people would say, oh look, isn't that, that there's that guy, it's that Stephen Hawkins guy, who's that? And then he would come up with, I'm always being mistaken for that man. And it would really throw people, you could see people doing a double take. So he's very good at just coming in with a very sharp comment just when it's least expected. And I think he will be remembered as a great scientist, but also as a great hero. I think he'll be remembered as somebody who really battled against the odds and turned a terrible situation into one of where he triumphed. So that he, against about the worst odds you can think of, he came out on top. He created something amazing, which is the work he did in science and his ability to take that out to the population of the world and say, you too can understand this work.